Juliana Pena is the most delusional fighter in the world. So listen, if you go back to UFC 269, Pena got one of the biggest upsets in UFC history, where she beat Amanda Nunes in the second round by a rear naked choke. And it would ultimately be a fluke. And let's be real guys, it was a fluke. I believe Amanda Nunes underestimated Juliana Pena, that and she was still recovering from the effects of COVID. Anyways, you guys seen what happens next, you seen the memes. Amanda Nunes made the adjustments in the rematch and she folded Juliana Pena for all five rounds. It was pure domination and even one judge gave it 4350 and the fans and i thought that this was done there was no way they can sell a rematch i mean even dc gave his opinion afterwards and said that juliana pena shouldn't get a rematch since she got schooled at ufc 277 and this is where i started noticing that juliana pena is delusional and i would say this is where she started showing the signs as well I'm mad at you dc you're saying that my work doesn't warrant it i'm the first ever woman to win the ultimate fighter i've torn four out of five ligaments in my knee and came back from that actually both knees i i gave birth and had a baby and came back from that i have been yep you heard that right juliana pretty much said that she deserves a title shot because i gave birth you couldn't even justify a good reason for the rematch with Nunes and eventually the fight was announced for UFC 289 and afterwards Pena and Nunes would have a dual interview you know maybe I have to be the bad guy but it is all coming to an end let's use reason and logic how can I win this fight I can win by knockout in rounds one two three four five I turn the best striker in this division into a panic wrestler what you can say that Juliana's trying to sell the fight, which probably is that, or you can say that she's playing the character, but honestly, it feels real. This doesn't feel like a Kobe Kobe tonight. Anyways, we all know what happens next. She breaks her ribs, so she ends up getting replaced by Aldana at UFC 289, and Amanda ends up winning and retaining her UFC champion and retires. That and she went crazy, did a ton of interviews saying that Amanda Nunes retired because she didn't want to do a trilogy because she was afraid of Pena. Which is funny since Amanda has been hinting for retirement for over five years. That and she also said that she's the greatest female fighter of all time. Yeah, she's crazy. And to be honest, Juliana Pena isn't that good. If you look at her record, she has no wins over anybody currently in the UFC. All the fighters she beat have either retired or moved on. But hey, if you ask me, the division needs someone like her because if you look at the 135 pound division, it is dead. There is no star power anywhere except for Juliana Pena. She's the only one that's getting headlines. She's the only fighter in that weight class that the casual viewer recognized because of her big mouth. So I have to give Juliana Pena a little bit of credit. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. And I'll see you guys on my next one.